we make our way into our top 10 point players now. For those of you casual fans who may not be aware. Practices and procedures in the National Hot Rod Association. The run order for a qualifying session number one is determined by points. If you've got a lot of points, like, oh, let's say your name is uh, Erica, for instance, you're going to be at the back of the pack. You have earned that right. You get to watch everybody else run, potentially learn something, make some changes to your car before you make that run. Now, going forward, tomorrow morning, we will take today's qualifying field and invert it, and that will be the run order tomorrow. So, for instance, since Angie Smith broke right off the starting line, she will be first out tomorrow not having... A solid run on the board. TJ in the left side and Derek Kramer in the right. A couple of next generation former junior racers that are now out here battling it out in pro stock. Kramer really laying into it on the burnout, Alan. Let's not forget he was the burnout king when we had our big burnout competition a few years back at the Big Go. He won it and uh, reminiscent of what we saw there on that burnout, probably some new tires. Well, new tires are definitely not your friend in pro stock. If you got to put, put a set of new shoes on, you're going to do some big-time burnout the first three or four times just to get them broke in. Or maybe he was just having a little fun out there in the water box. Six point five four nine two hundred and ten eighty seven. Troy Coughlin. Goes to the top by six thousandths of a second, and he'll take top speed right along with him. Derek Kramer goes 6.588 at 209 miles an hour, and for the moment anyway, that's going to be fifth best. So we got a 54, 55, 56, 57, 58 as we play blackout bingo in pro stock qualifying. 